click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends and today's topic is representation of poles and zeros but in that we are going to study a different problems. The today's topic is a problem number one on the representation of poles and zeros. Now why it is necessary to study is poles and zeros basically whenever any function is given then you should know how to place a pole value or a zero value in S plane or in Laplace domain because it is necessary to find out whether that given function is a stable whether that given function is causal anti-causal and in case of designing or you can say a designing point of view zeros are much more important placing of zero is much more important from designing point of view of filter so that's why we should know how to plot the pole zero plot of given function that's why we are studying a poles and zero plot in s domain now first of all we'll study how to draw a pole zero plot the problem number one The question is always quite simple. Draw a pole zero plot of given signal or a given function. One function is always given in that question. Right now, there is a simple question I have taken so that it is easy to capture, easy to understand what is the concept or how to find out the poles are zero and how to draw the pole zero plot also. Now, first of all, my question is x of s. The function is always given in the s domain. Now, in numerator we have simple s whereas in denominator there are two roots s plus 2 and s plus 1. Now using this we are going to find out the poles and zeros of this given function x of s. Solution. First of all x of s is given a question the x of s is s upon s plus 2 and s plus 1. What is important? As we have studied in uh, definition of poles and zeros basically how to find out zeros just equate numerator roots with a zero so that whatever outcome you have or whatever value of s is there that value is nothing but zeros of that function similarly do the same thing with the poles equate that root with a zero then find out the value of s that s value is nothing but the false of that function or signal we are doing going to do the same thing right now in this function only single s is there so just equate that s with the zero so here i am writing first of all i am going to find out the zeros now first of all i will equate this s value with equal to zero what you will get s equals to zero means what your zero in this numerator only single s is there which means we have only single zero second one its place is origin means one single in this function only one zero is given and it is placed at origin now we'll move on to poles now we have two roots means we have two poles and in numerator we have single root so i'm going to write here we have only one zero now we'll try to find out the location of these two poles so what is important according to definition equate this bracket or equate this denominator root equal to zero so s plus 2 equal to 0 what you will get i'll shift this a2 on left hand side so it will become minus 2 which means this is the location of first pole similarly do the same thing with s plus 1 what you will get the next location of pole is minus 1 means what we have uh, two poles and in that first pole is placed at minus 1 whereas second pole is placed at minus 2 means what these two poles are actually we have to plot on left hand side because both the poles are having a minus sign or both the poles are placed in negative side because both the poles are having a minus sign 
that's why we are going to place it on left hand side first of all now this is all about finding poles and zeros location now the second most important part is pole zero plot basically s is defined as combination of real part and imaginary part basically laplace domain is having two axes now one axis for real part another axis is for imaginary part now look at here in this question we are having the values of poles and zeros and all are real means what whatever number of poles and zeros i'm going to plot it is always available on real axis for this current equation now we'll draw the plot first and then i will place the values of poles and zeros on it right now we are going to place the values of poles and zeros basically zero is available at s equals to zero s is equal to zero means what zeros is current one in given function the zero is placed at origin which means here what is important how to mark poles and zeros basically poles are marked by crosses whereas zeros are marked by a circle right now my zero is placed at origin which means i'll mark or i'll represent it by a circle and this circle shows that here we have one single zero now poles now in case of poles poles are always marked by a crosses crosses means look at here the pole one first pole is placed at minus one whereas second pole is placed at minus two means what minus and minus two means all the values of this s is on left hand side of this s domain this is a laplace domain or you can say s domain or a frequency domain now if the value of s is negative which means we have to use a left hand side of this s plane if the values of s is positive then always we will use a right hand side of s plane now here we have s values minus 1 and minus 2 let's say here we have minus 1 and here we have minus 2 these are the values of s now these are the location of poles so this is all about pole zero plot of given function most of the time this question asks for five marks now what is important in this just try to obtain the roots of numerator and denominator if you are able to find out the roots then equate each and every root with a zero so that you will get the value of s for zeros also as well as for poles also and the next stage is draw the pole zero plot of laplace domain or you can say s domain and place the values of zeros and poles according to their numbers or polynomials these are the polynomials of s that's this is what i have drawn this is the value of pole zero which is represented by zero and the values of poles are minus two and minus one which is represented by a cross so this is all about a pole zero plot we'll study a different numericals in next future videos so thank you for watching this video stay tuned with ikeda and subscribe ikeda for further more videos thank you so much